All right, we're back with War of the Tribes by Gabriel Sorrell. Hopefully, uh, this next upcoming mission is not quite as uh, miserable as the previous one. Uh, we've learned our lesson to not use heroes, especially in grinding missions, even if you have to use heroes in order to win. Just wait until you've wiped the entire map. Just like Liberation. Fantastic. <coughs> with that out of the way, we have to watch this cutscene. So we'll do that, and then we'll play the third mission, I guess. West Plains Shakuras Black Sea Outpost one month later. As they spent more and more time on Shakuras working with the Dark Templar tribe, the Executor and Artanus learned how, how bad it was within the other tribes. Fallout war had begun. They spoke out against the war, but their words landed on deaf ears. Non-existent ones as well. In the meantime, Shake was gaining influence in the tribe. Which tribe? Through the radical youths who wished revenge on the other tribes. Ah, uh, Chris starts to begin watching. Nothing. We should be safe here. This place is too unimportant for Shake to have anyone in place. When will you be leaving? When the sh second moon has risen, the Executor is preparing our ships now. He wanted to thank you for the supplies and to wish you luck in the coming months. Shake is gaining control, but I do not think the Council is in any danger. But find Zeratul. He is still the true Praetor, and perhaps he can stop Shake before it is too late. Who is Shake that he is so powerful, yet so dangerous? Zeratul and Shake fought together for many centuries and have become great friends. They are two of our fiercest warriors. Sheik would have become Praetor, but he is too reckless, a fanatic. But still, he has much power. He has spent much time peering into the dark depths of the universe, never trended before. And it has left him... fondled. After Zeratul vanished, I fought to prevent Sheik from becoming Praetor, but the council members thought he was the best choice, and now my fears are being proven. When he has enough support, he will join the war against the other tribes. Do not worry. The Executor and I will bring back Z bring Zeratul back to Shakuras. Take the Callus with you. I do not trust Sheik with it. And when you find Zeratul, give him... My game. Bye. Oh, hi. Oh, shit! Where is it? What are you referring to? Do not play games with me. You took the callus. Where is it? Safe beyond your fondle. You are a traitor to your tribe. You and those old council fools would see us dead, but I will not allow it. This begins a new era for our tribe. What are you doing? Suiciding zealots, apparently. Do not worry. You and the council members will live. You may still be of use to me. Oh, fuck! Mm. Ah, mm. Ah. Dude, what is going on? Did she get abducted or something? I didn't even see. This is, uh, oh. No. They don't, they didn't bring any observers. Even though they're raiding a dark Templar tribe, they didn't bother bringing observers. Who needs those? Do we really have to watch this play out? Do we really have to watch the dark Templar back? To okay, thank you, Grace. Wow, we, so. Oh, man. This is a, uh,. This is one of those situations where, like, the cutscene's very reminiscent of the Phoenix cutscenes. There's, like, shit going on in the background. At least then, there actually was some element of a delivery or a... a what's the term? Like, a, a payoff, I guess, to that setup where there's, like, a base there. Because then it gets attacked. Okay, cool. It's not, like, quite like the Phoenix cutscenes where there's just a lot of things. But looking at the anatomy of that, right... There's not really a whole lot of choreography going on. Like, there still could have been better, you know, use of the space somehow. If you're going to try to tell a story, you could have told it through gameplay, but with us observing that gameplay, if that makes any sense. And, like, obviously one example is they didn't even bring observers, even though they knew they were raiding a Dark Templar tribe, which just paints them as retards, honestly. 
And like, that's like an obvious oversight, right? Where if you included that, then nobody would have been the wiser and it would have just looked like they completely obliterated them. But at the same time, they brute forced it. And so that that's that must be saying something. Whereas previously, I thought Sheik was just like every other Dark Templar in that sense, in terms of combat preference, where he would actually rather like ambush or have some sort of intellect. But instead, he's just like lashing out in seemingly in anger as, and and stupidity, perhaps uh, short sightedness at the very least, as opposed to being a bit more uh, intelligent. So I'm not really sure what that says, but I just wanted to give a little bit of a commentary because uh, partly to pad the video time, let's be honest, and, and also partly because. Uh, Realistically speaking, there's not much to gain from these cutscenes. Like, I'm not actually against cutscenes if they serve a purpose. Um, th this cutscene, you could have just established that shit in a briefing. And, and the fact that it's a month later or whatever, it feels like a, a force to still have, you know, have two gameplay missions, right? Or, yeah, two missions of gameplay, uh, a, an opening cutscene. And now uh, this cutscene is like, hey, there's a new act, even though the 17 maps... And, or 17 missions, actually, I should say, right? Be oh, maybe 60, I don't really remember. But bottom line is, it's there's, like, more going on here than what you would expect. Yeah, I think it's 17 playable missions, and yeah, however many cutscenes. It feels really weird, it feels awkward to have this sort of divide. And, you know, I hope that... Uh, <laughs> I just hope that we get more meaningful uh, cinematics in the future, as opposed to just... And they don't necessarily have to be long. They could be this length, but hopefully they, you know, feel like they're still connected. We're separating it by a month feels very disconnected, especially this early into the narrative. It's not like you're starting a new act. Like, you should be if you're time-lapsing that far forward, but you're not because we're still in the first section of the campaign. So those are my thoughts. Uh, join us for more in a sec.